じゃあ松金組長はダメだったそんな黒岩の野郎え今なんて黒岩こんな夜中に何しでかしたんだリアガミなんだとお前ちょっとどうしたのどいてください検事彼には少し署で話を聞かせてもらいたいんですがねい,いえ病院に行かせるのが先です<笑>必要ないでしょう十分元気そうだ医者でもないあなたにそんな判断ができるのもし何かあれば私が責任取りますよ責任取るっていいよ医者は俺も必要ない俺なら大丈夫だ<笑>今夜は災難だったな八神まだ終わってないみたいだけど<笑>これ外してくれないのか逮捕じゃないんだろ悪いな今ちょうど鍵が見当たらなくてねハムラから全部聞いた何をだあんたの正体だよセンターの副所長を殺したなヤクザの目をえぐってきたのもそして新谷を殺したのも全部あんただくだらない話だなじゃあ取り調べを始めるぞ今夜あのキャバレーにいたのは何でだあんたがモグラだ今はこっちの取り調べ中だ否定しないんだな<笑>あなたは火事に気がついた時何をしていましたか羽村を取り逃がしたのは失敗だったな口を塞ぎ損ねた誰が建物に火をつけたかわかりますかお前はおやっさんを殺したこのまま逃げ切れると思うなお前もだー俺の後ろ盾はアドデックナインの莫大な利権だそいつを握ってる連中の目と耳がそこら中にあるもしかしたら警察やらの上層部なんかにも息がかかってるかもな羽村の口が塞がれんのも時間の問題だよ残念だがもちろんお前も逃げ切れやしないその前にあんたの化けの皮を剥いで全部暴き出す<笑>あんまり張り切りすぎんなよインチキ弁護士黒岩さんお電話入ってますがおおそうか自分変わりましょうかいやちょうど終わったとこだフフフフフフフフフフフフフ登場会と強霊会暴力団同士の抗争によるものこちらの八神さんは偶然そこに居合わせただけだったご協力ありがとうございましたじゃあ私がお送りしましょう That was a surprise. He went straight for calling him out, and he basically just up and admitted it. Like, after very little、uh, actual、uh, back and forth, he seems to think he's untouchable. That's what, that's what Hamura thought, too. And then somebody pointed a gun at him. 
I'm exhausted. I just want to crash. Well, who's this from? Oh no, the Kaihan gang. The idiot third party of this game that doesn't even come close to mattering and still doesn't have the last guy anyway in it. Huh. You're gonna add side cases to the game now? After the plot twist is revealed? What are, where's your sense of narrative pacing? That's so strange. Like, the, the, at this point, it should be, we should be on, like, the final trajectory to the ending, but the game's still hiding more of its side content at this point of the playthrough, and it's like, well, I gotta do it. <laughs> they didn't let me do it sooner. I definitely would have preferred to have 100% of the side content done before now, because now the climax is kind of happening and reveals are happening and so on. Things have gotten nuts. Like, oh, there's, there's a lot to process there. I was about to comment, like, before the gun sh even- before the mole even walked in, I was about to talk about how complicated the hierarchy has gotten because of the fact that in the, the Yakuza family, the leader of the Yakuza family isn't even actually the leader of the Yakuza family because the actual leader is the captain. But then, like, they have, like, weird allegiances to each other because they're, like, still kind of allies at the end of the day in a sort of confusing way. But the mole was originally somebody who worked with the captain of the Yakuza family. But now the mole has their allegiances with the people behind AD9. Because while they were useful for- while originally he worked with the, with uh, Hamura. I believe that's correct, that the, the mole originally worked with Hamura. But now he doesn't work with Hamura because at this point, the people- Okay, I guess we'll have to deal with these guys. Whoa, he went flying. At this point, the people behind 89 are so powerful that they've recruited him, and so any past allegiance is irrelevant. That's a grenade. You should not have- you should not be just throwing grenades around, dude. City, sir, this is a public street. That's horrifying. Let's avoid Honda, as, to the best of my ability. So now the mole's no longer loyal to the Yakuza. But also, he was always the the chief of police, or or not. Uh, that's not necessarily what he was, but he's a he's a prominent police officer. But at the same time, the mole always had to turn out to be somebody we've heard of before, because if he was just like, oh, that's the mole, then like that's just like unmasking a character that's the central masked f character of the entire game is really pointless. If said masked character doesn't turn out to be a character we've heard of, and this game has a very limited roster of characters that it could have been. And that guy was always creepy. There's also a nice little split going on because he looks a lot like Yagami did when Yagami was a lawyer. So there's kind of like a weird Yagami looking at his own past kind of feel to it, which is somewhat resonant to the fact that he's been continually stuck looking at his own past this whole time. His villain turns out to be an embodiment of that. With my charming Hasaku face, Steaming Onomichi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cool boots vital for any fisherman, and my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right, I'm the pride of Onomichi. Ono... Michio! What the heck? Weird. Hello, everyone. I'm Ono Michio's producer, Hiro Naka. How about it, sir? Would you like a destination tour with Ono Michio's very own Ono Michio? I take it he's some kind of local mascot. Exactly. Have you heard of him? He's from Ono Michi, Hiroshima. A debonair fisherman with a great love of the sea. Sorry, first time hearing it. <sighs> Guess we've still got our work cut out for us. Maybe he's not quite refined enough. If only we could do it... If only we could do it like him. Sounds like the mascot business is pretty harsh. Hey there, mister. Nice to meet you. Hey, Michio-kun. That's not right, remember? You're supposed to say, nice to meet you, when you, when you greet someone. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, he just looks sad. Whatever, dude. What kind of attitude is that? You're ruining our mascot. Uh, uh, apologies. You shouldn't have had to see that. Right. I'll be on my way then. Whatever, dude. He is not motivated. Speaking of masked characters, that might be revealed to be somebody I've met before. What if he turns out to be a character I've met before? A disgruntled character that's not a very hard worker, who is associated with fishermen. Could it be the guy that wanted to be the top model guy, the top host of, of uh, Kamurocho? Could it be that he's now Onomichio? That's probably a bit of a tenuous connection. But I'm curious. Is that it? How do I... That's just the end of that quest. It's not the end, though, because there's no... It didn't end yet. So we just gotta wait for some sort of additional follow-up to happen there. And there's a mystery character over here. Hmm. What person is this going to turn out to be? No, leave me be! Ah! Quickly, trigger the cutscene! Hey, aren't you the guy who was being chased by the cops not too long ago? Hey, it's the, it's the payoff for getting chased by the cops once in the entire game on purpose. I had to do it on purpose, because it would never happen naturally. Eh? What? Oh, trust me, I wasn't doing anything bad. It was self-defense, see? I was getting harassed by some thugs and... <laughs> who cares about that? All I noticed was that your running was incredible. That's what you're focused on? Just who are you, anyway? I'm Shin Isaka, a sprinter in track and field. Oh, is it Shun Isaka? I thought he said Shin. Whoops. And you are? Yagami. Oh, right, Yagami-san. There's a favor I need to ask a speed demon like you. What is it? Chase me, Yagami-san! I want you to run after me. Excuse me? What do you mean? Yes, I want to feel your footsteps right behind my heels. I can't unlock my full potential unless I'm being chased. Doesn't that mean you only have limited potential in the first place? Not at all. Ever since I was little, I'd always run like the wind whenever someone chased me. Okay. Even if that was the case, why not ask one of your fellow athletes? Those guys just don't understand the concept. That rush you feel when you know you're almost caught? You're running has a peculiar intensity, Yagami-san. Seeing those legs pound the pavement? It's what I've always yearned for. I bet if someone like you is barreling down behind me, I'll unlock a hidden potential within me. Please haul ass for me, Yagami-san. I'll give you something special if you do. Your choice of words is... horrible. But fine. I guess I'll chase you down. Yes. You're wonderful. So, how do we do this thing? Just chase after me. You're, let your predatory instinct run wild. I don't even... Let's just get this over with. Ooh, yeah. Then on your mark, get set, go. He keeps saying, like, haul, like, to haul ass and be my, be a predator that chases after me and I'll give you a reward. Like, whoopsie, whoopsie. Is he going to do that bullshit everyone else does where they throw shit at me? Or is he just going to be a chase? It's just... Whoa, that looked painful. Is this how... What? I get, I get that they got to make it interesting for me as the game player, because otherwise I'm just holding forward. But otherwise I'm confused, because, like, he wants to practice track and field, right? He's not going to be better at track and field from, like... Well, actually, no, they do vault over stuff. It's more than the parkour where we're split, we're doing a bunch of dangerous tricks on concrete that I'd be a little more worried about it. Whoopsie. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. This might take a while. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just realized we gotta break the news to Kaito that our father figure character is dead. Aww. 
I was, I was, I was kind of going to joke about that when Kaito got shot, it's like, oh, but everyone just survives getting shot in these games. Like, here you can just, like, flex until he heals from a gunshot wound like he's Wolverine. Getting in a fight in a minute later. So, like, I wasn't that worried when Kaito got shot. I'm like, oh, he's going to take him out of commission for a bit, but he's probably not going to kill Kaito that casually. But then shortly thereafter, a character gets horribly, horribly shot to death several times. Right after somebody else just blew up. Like, that was a very abrupt end to a character that they I kind of added dimension to. Because they're like, oh, he's a very hospi he's really big on hospitality, actually. Like, he gave Kaito a massage. Like, you're tr they're trying to get you to like him more all of a sudden after him being kind of a really minor villain. And then he gets blown up. Like, damn. Yagami-san, you were nothing short of amazing. <sighs> well... Do you unlock any hidden potential? Yes! I feel like I grasped something important during our little jog. Here's your reward, as promised. That is not the end of that. Good, then I'll be going now. Wait, wait. Um... I actually still have some more gra grasping to do. What? Yeah, I grasped something important during our run, but it wasn't a full grasp. So please, help me again sometime. I, need, I just need a handful of that shit. I guess I could, if I feel like it. Sounds like a plan. I'll be warming up right here, so please come talk to me whenever you're free. Yagami-san? Every single line he says is innuendo. Call it like ass and pounding and grasping and predatory. Yagami hey Yagami-san, are you feeling up to the chase? Sure. I might even run you over if you're not careful. That's the spirit. Then, on your mark, get set, go! And here we go again. Shoop. Chase. Shun. Like, Chase Shun. Nah, I don't think there's a joke there. I don't think that's any kind of reference. I was just thinking, like... Like Jason, like from Heavy Rain, but that's that's tenuous. That's so tenuous. It doesn't really make a connection. I just try to I probe here and there with these graspers that this game has. Cause I'm just curious which characters might, which things might be weird references. Cause they they definitely prime you for that. There's enough of them. It's really a bummer when he trips on something because the game won't let you actually. Oops. But I didn't actually get hit. It's a bummer when you trip on something because the game doesn't give you a prompt. Is it just me or did I get way closer to him and the distance was higher? And now I'm further from him and the distance is lower. What does this distance gauge mean? It's basically useless. It's like a lie. The closer I get to him, the further it seems to be. What does that mean? <sighs> well, did you get something out of it? <laughs> this sensation! The rush of adrenaline, a billion sneakers thundering down a million streets echoing across the cosmos. I'm assuming you grasped your inner potential. Hi. You better believe I did. Basically, my problem is that I was trying to run too fast. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. I realized I was putting way too much stress on speed and not enough on form, which resulted in instability. But when you were chasing me, I was only focused on the thrill of almost getting caught. This helped me block out any unnecessary thoughts, stabilize my form, and help me maintain my top speed. This is kind of incredible. I don't really get it, but I'm glad you grasped your inner potential. Hi. Yes! It's all thanks to you, Yagami-san! That's even more confusing, because he wasn't even actively running from me. He was stopping to, like, lay traps, which was weird. Like, he was just being a dick and throwing signs over, like, the other enemies that, are, that I'm chasing for reasons other than running. To show my gratitude, I put in a little more than last time. Sweet. Oh, and please take this, too. Ooh. EX running wall smash? It wasn't of much use to me, so I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Or... I could just throw it away. You know what? I'll take it. Why not? 
book on combat techniques. This might actually come in handy. Alrighty, well, I better get I better be getting ready for my next competition. Chase your dreams, Isaka kun. Yep. And I'll be starting with Japan's national record. Catch you later, man. <clears throat> what was that? Thunderfist? Also, I better hurry up and max out my attack skill. Uh we're still six thousand away. Cause I'm running out of like I'm gonna be doing the big final boss fight soon. I gotta hurry. I put it off for too long. The ending felt like it was never gonna come. And yet here we are, soon maybe. EX running wall smash. Deliver a running kick to an enemy with their back against the wall. Ooh. Only an EX boost. It's... I'll buy it. It's very cheap. 100. At that, that, at that price, it's almost free. That's really specific, though. You have to press triangle wall running at somebody while there's a wall near them while you're in EX boost mode, which is a little hard to maintain. Phew. But I do like new heat actions. I have four new messages? Everyone wants to date me. Wait, is that a crystal ball? Wait, does the crystal ball lady want to date me now? What color is your calam calamity? Uh oh. Yagami-san, this is Amani. Hey, what's going on, Amani-san? I merely wish to thank you for going out of your way to believe me, not just once, but thrice. Well, you, you made the request, so I was just doing my job. <clears throat> no, most people don't believe my predictions whatsoever, but you did. I'm very grateful for that. No one's ever done that much for me, so it filled my heart with joy. I was a bit skeptical at first. As I surmised. But as I continued to investigate, I found that what you said had weight, so of course I couldn't refuse. If I remember correctly, the first two times were completely still up to interpretation, whereas it was the third one, I think, where she said something that had, that would pretty much had to be... Yeah, it was, the, it was the, the fact that I went got put on the fire calamity trail and it was actually a person trying to bring about fire calamities. That's the first time it seemed like maybe she was actually predicting stuff. You're as honest as they come, Yagami-san. Even so, I'm happy you believed in me despite your suspicion. Well, put in a request if you ever need anything else. Certainly. We do make an excellent pair. You're right. Are you saying you con will continue working together as Kamurocho's Calamity Busters? Whoa, whoa, that's not quite what I meant, lol. Ah, perhaps I let my emotions get the best of me. So I guess that's the four of them, right? Sana, Tsukino, Amane, and Nanami. So, the girl that... the have the musician girl, the one that kept getting chased by the pervs, the fortune teller, and the one that got kidnapped by the stalker. And that should be all four of them, because this one says four girlfriends. Huh. I don't know if I'm going to commit to that entire quest line, especially when it's some, a lot of it's available so late in the game. I don't know. It might be mandatory, though, for some of the reputation level stuff. That would, that would actually kind of suck, because it would take a lot of grinding to get through those storylines. Especially when you have to stop to play a mini game over and over again, of, the, of which are just like the ones we've already played, generally speaking. That'd be kind of a bummer. Still, I have more to track down. Speaking of which, what's is there something right here? Yeah, Wait, what, what am I hiding here? Is that just that? I think that's just this question mark is being noticed. So who is this? Yeah, the dating stuff 
even if the conversations can be kind of well written, it's just, it's so, it's a slow process. Oh shit, it's Kane, man. What the? What are you doing here? Huh? What? No Kane this time? Well, you're gonna be walking away with crutches. Kane? Crutches? The heck? What is he? Is he identical twin? Wait, don't tell me. You must be Yagami. The one my little brother's been harping on about. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> little brother? Yeah. I'm Ryo Suzaki. And the guy you fought at Soleil Building? <laughs> He's my twin brother, though I'm not a Yakuza like him. Oh my god. Uh... I was right. <laughs> oh, so that's what's going on. You almost had me for a minute there. But dang, you guys look so alike. You even wear the same clothes. <laughs> so, he even started copying my outfit. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. He's always been trying to one-up me ever since we were kids, the little turd. So, he looks up to you, huh? I'll assume you're a respectable citizen then. <laughs> yeah, right. My idea of a good day is waking up and drinking till I'm sick. Then drowning out my thoughts with more alcohol till sundown. You're saying you're an alcoholic. Ah, <laughs> oh, alcoholic, such a harsh term. I'm more of what you'd call a, a free spirit. Someone who consumes spirits freely. <sighs> wow. Guess you both have changed a lot since you were kids. Sure enough. Now I tell you what, Yagami-san, drinks are on me today. Make up for all the trouble my little brother caused you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, but only on one condition. You gotta out-drink me to earn it. Loser treats the winner, those are the rules. So that's how you've been weaseling free drinks out of people. Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I scare you away? You're free to run along if you can't take the pressure. I'm pretty- don't I, haven't I maxed out my drinking skill? I think I did. So I think we're good. You talk like you're a pretty heavy drinker. But then again, so am I. Where did I start when you are? Now you're talking. Now let's get our drink on. <laughs> well, well. Looks like you can hang after all. Good. Because I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> hmm. You sure can handle your liquor. But can you handle another round? <laughs> I guess you really weren't all talk. Why don't we call it a day? Sure. Damn. Never thought I'd lose when it comes to drinking booze. I gotta rebuild myself from scotch. Uh, scratch. Guess today's drinkers are on are on my dime. Uh, guess today's drinks are on my dime, eh? Those are the rules. Ooh, but we're gonna have to continue. I better double check that I have all the skills for that. Maybe there's something you- oh, what, what if there's like a, a mixture you can use to reduce the effect of alcohol additionally or something? Hmm. Cheers to you then. The writing's a little funny. I can imagine Yagami going, heh. But it, it spelled like he was gonna go, hee 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 And that's way, that's way funnier. No, I've already- ah, you boosted me up so I can't max the drinks out. This is the last place in town. Uh-oh. What was that? Was that Kwame too? Or was that Kwame? Where every time you ate or drink something, I'd, I'd be spamming the items and Kiryu would keep going, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's my drinking? Where's my drinking skill? We gotta double check this thing. It's apparently mandatory for two different side quests. Esoteric knowledge. There's the food one. Wait, where was the drinking one? Did I lose it? Now I'm just kind of confused. Did I put it in here somewhere? That'd be weirder. 
Yeah, they did. Barfly and Liquid Courage. Yep. Yep. So this increases your tolerance, and this increases how much you get EX gauge from drinking it. And I maxed those out ages ago. Whereas this one gives you more healing, and I'm like, I don't need more healing. I guess it's, this is better if I'm using consumables for my inventory, so it's probably kind of worth getting. Still, six, 600, 600 points. I probably want to save it for at least when I get boost attack max. Because I want those heat actions to do as much damage as possible when I'm taking on some mega... When I'm fighting some guy on the rooftop shirtless that has 17 health bars. <laughs> which is, seems to be how this game's always end. Then I want to have as many of those as I can.